Hi, in this tutorial we're going to go over the slider joint in Autodesk Fusion 360. Now the first thing we want to do is come over here to where it says joints. This is an assembly feature. I'm going to click on it and that activates our joint tab. I can come down to where it says motion and I can now select the slider joint which is right here and now it's asking me to choose component one. So I'm going to rotate this a little bit and I'm going to select this face right here and let me rotate this uh, to show you exactly what I've selected. So that is the face of that tooth right there. And now I'm going to select component two and I'm going to select this face right here. So as you can see it's giving us an animation but this animation is not the correct axis that we want to use. So let me show this from the side. It's coming out. Now we don't want that. We want it to come in this direction. So we're going to change it from slide Z to slide X to see what that looks like. Now you can see that this is also incorrect. It's moving now left and right. So the Z wasn't correct and the X wasn't correct. Let's try the Y. That's the correct one. This is the axis that we want to use as reference for our joint. Now that we've selected the right one, I'm going to stop the animation. And with everything uh, selected the way it is, we're just going to hit OK. And now you can see that I can move my uh, tooth here in and out. And that pretty much sums up the slider joint. One last thing that we can go over here is I can right click edit the joint and the angle here if I change this from 180 to say 50 degrees you're going to see that it actually rotates the part in place. Very helpful if that's what you're looking for. You can also right click and edit the joint limit. And so what you're doing here is you could set a minimum amount and a maximum amount of how much motion it can do. So if I type in two inches here and I type in one inch here, then it's only going to move that much. I can also change this. So I can make this 0 0.2 to two inches and you can see that it moves out by that amount. Now for the minimum if I set it to zero and I set the maximum to say 0.5 inches then you're going to see that it moves accordingly. Now if you put in a negative amount you're going to see that it you can actually move it in more than you think. So I can make this say 0.3 and for maximum I can make it 0.6 and that's a great way to animate the actual movement. And that sums up the slider joint.